welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm Christoph Ambrosch. That's me. I'm your host. And today's episode is episode number 316. Before we get into the episode bulk, we have no uh, birthdays this week, but I do have a quick congratulations I'd like to send out to friends of the show, Chris and Jody, over at the Digression Podcast on completing their 25th episode. Listened to it uh, a couple days ago. I had to catch up on all my podcasts and great episode. I now know more about Star Trek than I um, ever cared to know. (laughs) I've never been a big Star Trek fan, but now I know that they definitely are, and uh, I know more than I did before. So uh, congratulations to both of you, and uh, if you guys haven't checked out their podcast, please do so wherever you get your media at. Um, I was on an episode with them regarding... Medal of Honor recipient Charles Morris. So go check them out. It's a great podcast to listen to if you have a moment. Other than that, let's get right into the bulk of today's episode, episode number 316 from the Vietnam War. Jim was born in Aurora, Illinois on the 17th of October, 1944, and grew up playing football and was in the biology club at Wheaton Central High School. He graduated in 1962 and went on to attend Washington and Lee University in Lexington, Virginia. Jim was drafted into the U.S. Army in June of 1966 and was deployed to the Republic of Vietnam five months later. It was his actions on the 16th of February, 1967, as a medic with Headquarters and Headquarters Company, 1st Battalion, 8th Cavalry Regiment, 1st Cavalry Division, Air Mobile, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity, in action at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. His platoon was deployed in a night ambush when the position was suddenly subjected to an intense and accurate grenade attack, and one foxhole was hit immediately. Responding without hesitation to the calls for help from the wounded men, PFC Monroe moved forward through heavy small arms fire to the foxhole but found that all of the men had expired. He turned immediately and crawled back through the deadly hail of fire toward other calls for aid. He moved to the platoon sergeant's position where he found the radio operator bleeding profusely from fragmentation and bullet wounds. Ignoring the continuing enemy attack, PFC Monroe began treating the wounded man when he saw a live grenade fall directly in front of the position. He shouted a warning to all those nearby, pushed the wounded radio operator and the platoon sergeant to one side, and lunged forward to smother the grenade's blast with his body. Through his valorous actions, performed in a flash of inspired selflessness, PFC Monroe saved the lives of two of his comrades and prevented the probable injury of several others. His gallantry and intrepidity were in the highest traditions of the U.S. Army and reflect great credit upon himself and the armed forces of his country. Jim's family was presented his Medal of Honor on the 17th of October, 1968, which would have been his 24th birthday, in a ceremony at the Pentagon. His medal went on display at the middle school in Wheaton, which was named the Monroe Middle School, and a medical clinic at Fort Hood was also named in his honor. James Howard Monroe was 22 at the time of his death, and he is buried in Wheaton Cemetery in Wheaton, Illinois. His name appears on panel 15E, Line 48 of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Mm-hmm.